So hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain the topic called data storage in DNA. So contents introduction, what is DNA? What is de detailed data storage in DNA? History, why DNA has stored storage medium? How is data stored in DNA? Encoding and decoding techniques, advantages and disadvantages, challenges, latest in these fields, Conclusion and references. So let's go to introductions. Introduction. The demand for data storage devices is increasing day by day. As more and more data is generated every day. So more generated data in every day, we need the devices to store the data. Such devices are optical disks, Portable hard drives and flash drives and USB drives are used to store data. These uh, devices are non biodegradable materials used in data storage, and this is also pollute the environment. So, as data increases, the current de data storage technology would not be enough to store data in future, and data is growth every day. To back up our data, we use various hard drives and big data centers to harvest the important data, like cloud server. So, importance of DNA are using storage medium as a high capacity, high data storage density, which stands extreme environmental condition, high memory space, secure as invisible to human health. Effective power usage can store data for long period by protecting from water and oxygen and lights. So identify identify failures of existing storage medium. So it is non biodegradable. Release high amount of heat energy. Use more energy for functioning. Function only within limit temperature range, subject to decay over long periods. So, this is the data storage devices were evaluated from till today. So, it starts from magnetic tape, next of floppy disks, compact disks, hard drives, USB drives. Now, like YouTube clouds, it has next DNA bacteria. So, what is DNA? Deoxyribonucleic acid is a molecule that carries the genetic information that used in the growth and development of all living organisms. So, in right side, it's uh, the feature of the DNA and base pair switches of the DNA. So that two DNA stars are called polynucleotides since they are composed of similar monomer units called nucleotides. Each nucleotide is composed of one of four nitrogen containing nucleobases. So you have seen adenine and thymine. So what is digital data storage in DNA? DNA, digital data storage refers to and any process to store digital data in the base sequence of DNA. This technology uses artificial DNA made using commercially available polygram nucleotide synthesis machines for storage and DNA sequencing machines for retrieval. This type of storage system is more compact than current magnetic tapes or address storage during the data density in the DNA. Currently it was reported that one gram of DNA is equal to 215 petabytes, like 215 million gigabytes to be stored. 
So, about DNA, Louis Henry Q says, DNA is an amazing information storage molecule that encodes data about how a long system works. Wherever every purposing, repurposing that capacity to store digital data, pictures, videos, and documents. This is one important example of a potential of borrowing from nature to build better computer systems. So, history. The idea of general considerations about the possibilities of recording, storage, and retrieval of information on DNA molecules were originally made by Michael Neyman and published in 1964 and 65 in the journal USSR. And the technology may be referred as M mnemonics while the storage devices may known as M Nimon. In 2007, a device created at the University of Arizona using addressing molecules to encode mismatch sites within a DNA start. On August 16, 2012, the journal Science published research by George Church and colleagues at Harvard University, which DNA was encoded with digital data information that includes an HTML data of 53,400 world books written by a lead researcher, 11 JPG images, and one JavaScript program. So, as of Improved system was important in general. Nature in January 2013 in an article led by researchers from the European Bioinformatics Institute and submitted at around the same time as a paper of church and colleagues. The long term stability of data encoded in a data was DNA was reported in the February 2015 in an article by researchers from ETH Zurich. In March 2017, Dr. Enu Alec and Dina Zelensky of Columbia University and the New York Zimoni Center published a method known as DNA form counter, which allows perfect retrieval of information from a density of 215 petabytes per gram of DNA. So, DNA is one gram of DNA is equal to 215 petabytes. So, Next, why DNA has stored storage medium? So, due to some following reasons, the below reasons we know as DNA has storage medium. Structure of DNA, structure of DNA is uh, very less. It is unique. It stores the memory, like genetic information. Very high data storage capacity, long life, small size, and high density. Notable effective power usage. So it is this figure is shown the DNA versus other storage devices. So hard disk having read capacity is uh, 3000 to 5000 microseconds per bit. So flash memory hard read write speed is uh, 100 microseconds per bit. Bacteria have uh, Bacterial DNA, it is my read write speed is a microsecond per bit. So, the weight of DNA needs to store world's data is 1 kg of DNA. So, how DNA stored in DNA? How data stored in DNA? So, first one basic methods. There is a various techniques for sorting 
the data in the DNA. In all methods, firstly, information is converted into detail form, not then further processing is done. Various encoding techniques are used in data sorting in DNA, like Hoffman coding. The data is converted into binary codes. This process is called binarization. And this binary codes further convert into ATGC sequence. In which the, the help of devices, the process is conversion is called DNA encoding. Then further, this ATGC sequence are synthesized into DNA molecules and to read this information back from DNA sequence of DNA fragments is done by using various algorithms and the various decoding techniques are used to decode the data from it. So, from now you are to say questions like accessing data in DNA is possible. Yes, it is almost possible. So you access the random X data in, in DNA. So this is the picture yes, we can extract the digital files into DNA state form where digital files are converted into binary codes, which by using binarization, these binary codes are again converted into nuclear based codes by encoding. And this synthesis we can store the data in DNA formats. Well, in uh, storing DNA form in data, we can, how we can re extract by sequencing and decoding and reading, we can again gain the digital files again to read. So, again, DNA multi. DNA manipulation. After determining what other the order the letters to go in, the DNA sequences are manufactured letter by letter with chemical reaction. These reactions are driven by equipment that takes in bottles of A's, C's, G's, and T's and mix with them liquid solution with other chemicals to control the reaction. That specifies the order of physical DNA storage. This process brings as another benefits of DNA storage, like backup copying, like backup copies. Rather than making these tags at the time, the chemical reactions make many identical starts at once before going on to make many copies of the next starts in the series. Once the DNA starts are created, we need to protect them against damages from humidity and uh, lights. So we dry them out and put them into a container that keeps them cold and block water and lights. But uh, storage data is useful only if we retrieve them all. So third one, by converting binary into triplet codes. So DNA data is encoding schema such as this one are designed to minimize errors in synthesizing and sequencing the molecules and then correct, correct any errors that do occur. So firstly, we can convert digital text to binary codes. Then binary codes are converted into triplet codes. Then triplet codes are converted into DNA codes. And finally, DNA codes are formed into DNA fragments that can be stored the data. So this figure shows that how data can be stored in DNA. So next one, encoding and decoding techniques. In that encoding of data in DNA, Polymers chain reaction based encoding schema, alignment based encoding models, 
rewritable and RAM based DNS storage system. So the figure shows decoding self refining DNA that encode these nodes. So once uh, encoding is done, synthesize, we can synthesize, we can form the data in the form of DNA. <laughs> Sequence data. We can convert it into decoding form and then we can read that file. So, codes for uh, encrypting data in DNA half month coding. This is varying the length of symbols using for referencing of character, representing a character. The common code frames are separated with commas. The alternate code. Comma free code frames are not separated with commas. Improved Huffman's coding sequence the scheme DNA script writing algorithm. So, DNA script writing algorithm. This method efficiently used, uses the advantages offered by the structure of DNA for vast starting capability and parallel of molecular compatibility this approach brings out an algorithm for writing data in dna in a digital form one time add like a 40 key generated key or use as encryption key this key is used just only once for x one, one message exactly one message this user pad is destroyed by the after user after encrypted though the encryption process used uh, hybridization techniques so next advantage these are the many features of dna and data storage devices which allows us to create such a data storage medium which is a highly secure compact easy to carry and comfortable to store very large amount of data the currently present data storage devices are unable to provide such present features and qualities so advantages of dna are large data can be stored long live and uh, it can be stored in a long time as possible as you can so this dna is known as uh, gaining the ge genetics it's like uh, it takes the genetics into million years so you can easily carry out the storage next unique features of DNA long lived, stable, and easily synthesized, needs no active maintenance, stores in digital files without electricity of thousands of years, last for tens of uh, thousands of years. We can store 215 petabytes in one gram of DNA, highly available, never obsolete. So challenges and disadvantages. So next, the overall process of encoding, amplifying, sequencing, restructuring, and decoding takes significantly more time than their conventional counterparts. The retrieval process is slower than the top personal computers so in this dna the retrieval process is slower than the personal computers generated generating in many types of errors are associated with current machines in deals with dna and dna is a low speed it fast it is a very high cost of productions it is a mutation in dna Cuts it mutation occurs in DNA. So these are the challenges and disadvantages in DNA. So let us in this field. Like 
Microsoft plans on sorting its data on DNA into next three years. Bring on DNA adults. In uh, May 2017, Microsoft and for safe data. It plans, plans on sorting in data store in DNA. So Microsoft recently decided to invest in the aspects of first sorting information with a totally different sort of tech called a biotech. It might seem off brand for the software agents, but teaming up with academics to take on molecular biology has produced stunning results. The results was uh, the team was able to store and perfectly record digital data with incredible storage density. So, while well, according to this company blog post, they managed to pack about 200 megabytes of data into just a fraction of a dropping liquid, including a compressing music videos and other brands so it is even more impressive that data was stored in a quickly and easily accessible form making it more risky to computer ram than compute computer storage so when my concept they have decided to invest in the storage of dna dna so and firstly, the team was gained success to store and for recoil back of the data later. So, in firstly, they can store the 200 megabytes of data into function of nothing liquid. So, it is increased our day by day in the future. Data can be stored in the DNA itself. So, conclusion. Thus, using DNA for data storage, it is possible to store huge amount of data in very less size and less time. As DNA can retain data from millions of years, it is possible to store data for a long time. But using this technique, data is compressed and the security to the data is provided. Parallel reading of files is also possible. The user can read multiple files in the same time. By using DNA multiplication, we can create number of copies of important data and can be distributed to a server. This technique can be used in further to store the whole data for various companies in very small space. So, this is the references where we can get the information of uh, detailed data in uh, DNA. So, thank you for watching.